Let's get ourselves going here. Sorry guys, sorry about that. So I didn't just like, um, band right at the start of the stream. Uh, it's cause hate bots have been pretty rampant lately on the Twitch lately. And so it's just something to keep an eye out for. That is why. If you stream on Twitch yourself, uh, watch out for any account that use any combination of like the term like foregatherers. And then also fragility is another one. Just as a heads up kind of deal. But anyways, <laughs> welcome to stream. Today we're working on the Colosseum. I built the outer walls between streams. So, just gotta build like the inside. I'm doing like seating up top and then I'm gonna do seating on this row or kind of like sanding viewing area on this row. And then bottom two rows I'm gonna leave open and we're gonna do, and then I'll have built like the, uh, the fighting area. And we gotta make sure that it's lined with obsidian. That way, none of the phantoms just fall through the Colosseum. Because that would be bad. Very unfortunate, at least. So, and then I'm gonna add some platforms for like jumping and junk. And it's gonna be good times. So yeah, it's gonna be kind of chill today because it's just gonna be a bunch of block placing. I don't know if I have enough in stone to finish. I'll probably have to go back to the end at some point. So, might be doing that. <coughs> also, also, I'll make an announcement in the Discord and in Twitter, on Twitter, and also just updating the uh, Twitch profile schedule page. But I am going to be switching the Tuesday streams over to Wednesday, just because it works better with my work schedule. So there is that to keep an eye out for. Mm. That's, that's too hard. Also still this way. Do do. Okay, so 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And do that. And then that one. That. Okay. the slabs, the uh, stone cutter. So I'm gonna have to go up there. If you're new to stream, welcome. This server is has the origin mod installed. I personally play as a Blazeborn, so I am immune to fire, but I do take water damage instead, which is more annoying than you think it would be. Currently, I am working on a big coliseum. You can't really tell because it's semi-covered by that random chest, but there's a cave spider spawner right there, and I'm going to make the bottom look kind of fancy using my banner logo. And then also, I'm thinking that I'll probably add different banners to like maybe the spike area. And just have different banners and the spikes. That'll look cool. time and you will. But just gonna generally have pretty chill, chill time. Definitely gonna need to get up there. Bum bum. Bum bum. bum. Okay, so I'm out of in stone. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Even half of this. We can do half of this. Gonna need to get ourselves more in stone. End mining. Woo! <laughs> I really thought I had enough. I filled the shulker box and then I suppose I should have thought, realized that said shulker box wasn't gonna last. Live and let learn, I suppose. I want to do a little wall all around this one and then we're gonna build like straight down so fun times on that and we gotta do like the beach villas I feel like I should do like a builds tour something. Just be like, check out my build. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Jumping down. Gotta get more in stone. Wait, those are food. And I also need this. I don't need to take all of this. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Now we gotta go to the end. I went through the wrong section. Yep, but it's super exciting. We're two away from our follow goal. When we reach our follow goal of 50, I'm gonna do a face cam stream with sunglasses. So, if you're interested in that, consider dropping a follow. Always appreciated. Server's a bit laggy today. That's alright. Nothing we can't handle. Am I right? Am I right? What's real? Let me address my chair. Okay. <laughs> Lately I have been having trouble getting the um, average viewership to three though. Because it average like the way Twitch does it is it averages across like a bunch of things and it's just like that. make it work. That's my little shop. It's very cute. Oh, best be running. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it'll be exciting. I got. I keep forgetting to fix that. Costume's gonna be great. I'm super excited. I have this plan. So basically I want to make like the ground, like the main fighting area of the Colosseum look like my banner and then have like a lava and a water side. And <sighs> my plan is to make like the, cause it's kind of like the banner has like a green sun kind of in the middle of it. So I'm gonna do like green sun with the little black coming off of it as the center focal point. And then I'm going to, for the different colors, cause I have cyan and then red on either side of the flag to represent the crimson and the warp of the nether. Uh, so I'll do a cyan side and a red side. But then on the cyan side, I'm gonna have these cutouts cause I'll have like bridges that go to the edge of the Colosseum. But then in between it, it'll have water. And then on the red side, I'm gonna do lava. And it's gonna be good times, guys. I am super excited about it. But yeah. Off we go. Holy crap. Oh, geez. 
Okay, are we okay? It's... Oh, jeez. Alright, down we go. Pop. Oh, jeez. I find when the portal does that, usually it helps me I back out of it backwards. Probably do a shorter stream today. Uh, just because there is quite a bit of a lag. There's only so much lag I am willing to subject you guys to. I made direct icon with that Enderman. have his eyes. We're going up, 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 up. I should start like remembering to like ask people to follow at the industry if they haven't already. Very bad at like being a, like follow me. <laughs> my tunnels if I can even find it plot twist is, is I can never find them I just keep making new ones I found out you can make the end rods by combining the popped chorus fruit with a blaze rod and I was like Bruh, you gotta be kidding me You mean to tell me I could have been doing this nonsense the entire time? Okay, what we're gonna do is come over to the back of here. And we're just gonna dig down a bit. Okay. I do love mining in the end and the nether though, because unlike in the overworld, you don't need light. <laughs> it's great. Then I can just, you know, chill. Anyways, if you guys got any pressing concerns or questions, feel free to ask. Always here to chat. Sometimes I wonder if I should put my streams on just chatting because sometimes I do a lot of just chatting but I'm still playing Minecraft so I'm never sure but I did start adding like the hashtag chilled or whatever to it because they are very chill streams I'll try my best at least <laughs> In stone. See, I was gonna. I sp started building the Colosseum forever ago. That's how I got so much terracotta. And then I was like, you know what would make a cool Colosseum? In stone bricks. And then I was like, but I can't go to the end yet because we haven't set a date to fight the, the dragon. And I was like, all right, I'll wait. And then I started working on the beach villas. And then. We fought the dragon, and I was all like, yes, now I can get large quantities of endstone. And so I've just started digging little tunnels in the floating islands and getting a bunch of endstone. And I also can get a bunch of obsidian, because I want to line the fighting area with obsidian, so that way... Phantoms don't j can safely shift and not get lost. So yeah. Exciting time. Now that I think about it, maybe I should add like retractable doors to the one areas. That might be a good idea. Cause then I could do retractable obsidian doors and just do that whole bottom two with obsidian or bottom three with obsidian. 
a lot more obsidian than originally planned. Oops. How far did I fall? There it is. Because then you can, then it'll be harder to leave the Colosseum. They'll have to be those fancier doors, though. Hmm. But I could do two sets of them, and then just run a ton of redstone, I guess. We'll make it, I'll make it work. It'll be good. So like for the villas I've built a pirate ship and I was like then you can do boat races like first one around the pirate ship and back wins and also a bonfire for camping and telling spooky stories good times good times I did get a little creative with the different origin because each little villa has a item frame outside of it with like an item to represent a different origin in it. I did take some creative liberties with that because um for example like the felines one is an orange wool block. I'm just like is it I think it's supposed to be like a ball of yarn. But I'm just like I don't know about that. And so I did a dandelion instead because it's a dandelion, like a lion, and they're felines, they're cats. And I was like, hey, hey, hey. I'm hilarious. Have to fill the shulker to the brim, to the brim. But I can just do this. But yeah, so that'll be good. We're gonna get a bunch of in stone and hopefully that'll be a sufficient amount to finish out the building process. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what I could do is have doors that go up. a good idea. Like the retractable techno doors. Because I bet those would probably be easier to change up how they descend and ascend and stuff. Or like the trigger would be easier to like put super far away or something maybe. I don't know. Figure something out I suppose. sign some new mods I have noticed that like when bots follow you they don't set off the alerts they just kind of pop up in your email and in the follow log because that's what I've kind of been going by is that is if they don't if they don't pop up in the follow log or or they don't set off the alert, but you get an email and they kind of just show up in your followers list, then you know. Also, they don't show up in the Streamlabs. Like, they don't fully register as bots or as followers. So that's what I've been keeping out, look out for. It was crazy to think about, though. 
I was like, dang. I've seen like the ones where they're like buy followers. I had two of them a couple streamers to go, just like one after each other, and I was just like, bruh. So I've been banning an unexpected amount of people. It's very interesting. I know. I'll probably make an announcement about volunteer mods or something. I gotta figure out chat rules and stuff. Do, do, do. I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. Getting all of the end stuff. I can't believe I can never find any of the endstone like tunnels that I've started. It's just very odd to me. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is, I suppose. I'll sorry about being late. Doesn't happen often, but it does every once in a while. <laughs> just now realizing that I was gonna switch to Sunday. Or not Sunday, switch Tuesday to Wednesday. And I'm pretty sure September 1st is the day that like a bunch of small streamers are boycotting. So I'm like, hmm. Do I stream on Tuesday? Or do I not? I'm pretty sure. <sighs> if I stream on Friday. And um What's it called? If I stream on Friday and I stream on Sunday, then I should still get the hours I require per week. So in that sense, everything should still be okay. I mean, when I remember to do things correctly. Man, do I love shulker boxes. Like, just because they let me bring large quantities of materials to places more efficiently. So I'm just like, woo! Shulker every day. day. This server is fun, because it's very chill. And we have a player's death counter, which is just funny to look at sometimes one point I was the highest I was the first to hit a hundred a grand a grand accomplishment but last now I'm in third <laughs> but well happens I suppose Stone bricks are really nice though. I like how they look. It's too bad that they're like an in-game material, but they're like such a nice looking block. Instones themselves kind of look like sponges, which is weird, but the bricks look nice. That's all that matters. time I'll be sure to put the stone cutter on the second floor <laughs> and it'll be fantastic hmm I suppose I can make the one layer like underneath the Coliseum and then have them go upstairs to go into the Coliseum that would work okay I might do that and then have the bottom three rows just be obsidian. Yeah, that'll be good. Working out my design plan. Because I like designed the outside and then didn't think about like things like that. I was just like, yes, layers like an onion. But 
but how it be? Almost there. Seriously, bad things, man. Oh wow. Place bricks like a mad woman. I should probably do the obsidian mining off screen. Just because obsidian mining is so slow. I'm gonna need a ton of obsidian. But it'll be worth it. It's always worth it. Hmm. Good times, good times. Ugh. I've been super yawny lately. Oh well. Dee -dee 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 -dee. mining aspect. I think it's just because I can like just zone out and mine for hours. This is why I have large underground bases. <laughs> I do like just mine. Mine and listen to videos or music or a podcast. Just go for it. It's a good time guys. It's a good time. Officially at the special amount. Boom, boom. All right, mind that. Up. I still don't know what's happening because I can never find any of the tunnels that I dig. It's very odd. Oh my gosh, my arm is actually taking damage. It's nice though because uh Oh jeez. I was all like that's not where I'm supposed to spawn. <laughs> uh since we gotta keep inventory out. I can just Okay, we're gonna have a fun lag time. Just got pog through the leg, pog through the leg. Let's go escape. One second, go escape. Disconnect, refresh, refresh. Join server. Now I'm in a bad spot. Okay. Okay. Hello. Oh my gosh. Every time with the leg, man. I legit had to restart my computer the last time this happened. So. Mossy cobble using moss now? That's amazing. That's like I'm in a time loop, guys. Oh. That's just got E. Technical difficulties. Escape, disconnect, cancel, quit game. 
Exit all that. I'm just gonna relaunch Minecraft here. Hopefully that fix the problem. If not, I don't know. Hello Brick! Welcome to stream. I'm experiencing technical difficulties. What happened? I got major lag spike all of a sudden. And it just kept sending me back. Now I'm falling through the world. I'm gonna bring it up. Oops. Oh no. I have no idea if I have a Windows 11 or not. I just have, I didn't think Windows 11 was, was out yet. I think I just have Windows 10. It makes computers so laggy. Oh jeez. This is bad. I don't think I updated the operating system. I think it might be the server because otherwise, usually when my computer lags, it in stream. But this appears to be the server. Let's see. Minecraft no longer wants to operate correctly, which is a disappointment. I don't know if it's with staying on the bed or what. I think it's... Two options. We can. Okay. 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 Yeah. I can in stream and have a very short stream. Or I can switch games over to the Stanley Parable. What do we want to do here? Coliseum. Switch game? Okay. We're gonna switch game real quick. There it goes. Okay, oops. Let me edit my stream thing real quick. I do. What? We do it. And then we're gonna do. I like looked up how to spell Colosseum before. It's not Minecraft. It's. It's probably E. Stan. Lee. Parable. I have no idea what game this is. Okay. Well, let me tell you about it. It's called The Stanley Parable. It's a kind of like an RPG type deal. This is the story of a man named Stan. 
Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job. One second. Let's <laughs> see. Was simple. Uh, click. Let me remove the chill music real quick. Okay. Or actually not remove it, maybe? Turn it down? Yeah. Okay. So basically, in this game, you play as Stanley. Who's an office worker. And you gotta choose whatever the heck you wanna do. So you wake up in the office, no one's here. Then you have to decide on what you want to do. And depending on your choices, different stuff happens. And it's exciting. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? See, I got Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. I can't rob the office. It won't let me pick things up. I wish it would. That would have been. That would be hilarious. Mostly, you can't really interact with much until you get to this point. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So we can go on the left door or the right door. And he says we go through the left door, but we don't have to go through the left door. It's really whichever one you desire. Into the right door? Alrighty. Into the right we go. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, let us go to the employee rack. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes. I always think that I'm like, can I do... Let me do something with the vending machine. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. This really is coming out. What does this mug say? I can't tell. All right, we go through the door. This point, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And I'm like, you can't jump. I can't jump. So now it wants me to go through this door. Or I can keep going straight. Mm. Mm. The decision is uncanny. I think there's a slight chat delay, which is unfortunate. Do we go through the door? Or do we go straight? Hmm. Decisions. Hmm. We don't obey anything or anyone already. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. If you want to see something funny. Stanley. Someone you've forgotten. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Prove it. Never. Dun dun. Dun dun. 
We're doing nonsense. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Never! <laughs> Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Um, red's my favorite color. Red and green. But we're gonna go through the blue door. Because we ain't listening to nobody. To we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. He really wants me to go through that red door. But we're gonna go through the blue one. Alright, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. Blue you door. You so badly what's out there. You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen. Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is oh, this what you no. wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Man, so I just want to play Minecraft. Stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. All right. There we go. A third option. <gasps> this already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go the ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Do we go through the orange... The wood door? Do we go through the wood door? What do we do? He's giving us a third option. Hmm? It could be pretty pog. It's wooden and oak-like. Like of the familiarness of the Minecraft. You decide. Okay, we're going through this door. It's it's peaked. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I'm gonna do a four. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly, there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rowing. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Alrighty. Oh! I'm gonna go through the third door again. Now, would you say oh. that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. I didn't see the competitive leaderboard. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Okay, let's do it. Look at it, would you? Yes. Let me boot it up. New game, new game. What is? The baby crawls left towards danger you click the button to move him back to the right and if he reaches the fire you fail it's a very meaningful thing. all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life i think the art world will really take notice but of course the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours so why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective be sure to keep notes on your experience. No. Four hours? Can we keep this up for four hours? I know. We can't let the baby die. It's too cute. I have to press the button every time. Oh my gosh. But can we do it for four hours? I don't know. I'm very impatient with stuff like this. Oh no. I need an auto clicker. Am 
imagine someone new stepping in the stream and just seeing this happening, they'd be extremely confused. They'll just be like, what is going on? Why is there fire? Why is there a baby? Le man be? <laughs> I did change the stream dial to lag made me do it, so <laughs> hopefully it'll be alright. Oh gosh. Four hours. I feel like the second I fail to like press the button, how close? Okay, let the baby die. All right. You heartless bastard! <gasps> Did you do it because you hate babies, or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for you. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Hey, hey, since my game is so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Yes. The pain. All right. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Ah, yes. Fact. Is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stan. Yes. Will it ever be enough? Yes. Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. This game does have Minecraft. <laughs> All right. We'll go here. No, here. And then... Without my... Yeah, I can't... Do anything. Does it need I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, <gasps> it's complete. He made I a made Stanley. Look at it. It's Gaze beautiful. Upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Hey, uh, narrator man, if you saw my Coliseum, you'd be sorry. The experience, please step inside and make yourself comfortable. I got a crouch to go into the building? I can't I can't go in. Oh it's grand. Isn't it perfect? It could only be better Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Okay. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Yee! Back to mining. I don't know where you want me to go, narrator man. Oh, this way? Like it's going to get a bit dark. You brought a light. Uh uh. And I can't jump. But there's coal right here. Can we get the coal narrator, man? I can't even pick up the mushrooms. No. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. <laughs> something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This will do at all. One out of five. No! <laughs> okay, new game. No! I wanted to find the diamonds. Where am I? <laughs> yes! I this is portal. This game is, but I love it. You trapped in a glass box with no way of listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. I don't know. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Yes, let us. Well, I can do that. Oh. Pierce, I could have stepped out at any time. We got this clock, though. Oh, 
Susan. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Oh. It is portal. to take my companion radio. Come companion radio. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through. Oh. Please write your experience. What is this? Is this the work office again? Companion radio, what do we do? Mm. Okay, I'm back. My internet has been really bad for the past few days. I understand my internet has also been bad. <laughs> now we're in this room that appears to be the office again, but not as put together. But I've got my companion radio. The narrator man decided that Minecraft was too open-ended. But we're jumping. <laughs> Where are we? 509. Okay, so there's a hallway that way. And there's this way. Oh. Hmm. Let me jump. Let me run. This is really dark. <sighs> like super dark. We gotta find some light, man. It's literally letting me stumble around in the dark. Okay, that's 508. Four. <gasps> Light! It's, I don't think it's meant to be understood. It, it's, um, basically like a choose your own adventure, so you can do, make whatever choice you want, and it will result in a different ending. I don't know how many different endings it has, but it has a lot. And I don't remember when it originally came out. But... It was a while ago. Oh my gosh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. But basically, you can either make the narrator as mad as you possibly can, go along with the story, make him sad, it's like... Yeah, I did see the new Spider-Man trailer. I'm pumped. I'm all like, are we getting the Sinister Six? I cannot wait. And then it restarts. The game ends and then it restarts. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. 
Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. That's different. Huh. He said different words. Usually he's all like, the office is empty, but this time he said I couldn't remember how the office looked. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Should we go in the left this time? But yeah, I thought it looked really cool. I'm excited that they're bringing back Dr. Octopus and the Goblin should be exciting as well. And it's gonna be great. I'm like, I'm, I love Spider-Man. What if the painting of a demon is just a window? There was a painting? Oh my goodness. I didn't even see the painting. I just didn't see it. Oh my goodness. Horror plot. We're being chased. Do we go through the door on the left or the door on the right? Left. Left? Alrighty. Let's obey this time. Alright. We'll follow the rules. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling away Do unbelievably amazing work all the time. Every day with no exception for Hoping he might find an answer there. Alright. To the boss's office. It's a broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Up the stairs. <sighs> hmm. Hello, big boss man. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. <laughs> this is hilarious. And rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. <gasps> this man has a redstone in his office. The, yeah, the narrator's the best part. stirring of emotion in his chest as though he felt more free to think for himself to question the nature of his job why did he feel this now when for years it had never occurred to him this question would not go unanswered for long we're in the creepy sewer system creepy sewer. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read mind control facility that it says escape on it. Should I go through escape or do I go through mind control facility? Hmm. Decisions. Because it's like he says go through mind control. We obey? Alrighty. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. 
Did he have the strength to find out? Yes, I got all the strength. Strength. But uh... now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. <laughs> this mind control facility it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy cubicle. with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Ooh. Just no. keep going. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. <laughs> Here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay. Let's get into the system power. Do we turn it off? Or turn it on? Narrator says we should turn it off. So, if we're doing exactly what he says. Then we turn it off. But if we're not listening to him, then we turn it on. It causes chaos. If we can just not obey for once. Not obey? So you want to turn it on? We can do it. Seize control of the office. On, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Everybody wants oh, control. Stanley. Lord, your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, <gasps> nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Oh, it's your geez. time to shine. You are the star. Okay. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. Okay. But what precious moments each one of them is. Four. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. Okay, we got here four. Means. I barely know where to start. Three, okay, that's three. What's that? Think over there as well. I don't know where your co-workers are. A moment of silence. I can't get out. I think I need to hit the four button. That's what all the screens say. Tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Okay. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. That's four again. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, 
swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Okay. I have to say this though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control no. wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. This yellow button? I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My four goodness, buttons. I hate that four buttons. seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You oh, know what? Geez. To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock, why not? Okay. Some precious additional seconds there. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? I hit the four button. When you saw that timer, that something in this room was capable of turning it off. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose no. in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. Hmm. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. There's nowhere to go! That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 hmm. seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to now things are shaking. To your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in to <laughs> the moment I say happily ever up. Oh my goodness. That is true. We learned to don't don't go against him. Now will he change what he says? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Interesting. When Stanley came to a set of two open Let's doors, go. he entered the door on his left. I want to see where the escape goes. You know, I am very curious as to where escape leads. there was leads. not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he'd come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Do, do, do. Hello, boss man. Okay, it's... I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Oh. Okay, that was different. Maybe because I wasn't waiting for him to finish? Interesting. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. We're going this way though, bro. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? Violent death? The door death. behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Pasha. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yes. Stanley fears no man.
<laughs> As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shadowed life. <laughs> I think if I crouch, I won't get crushed. Farewell, Stanley, <gasps> cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single <sighs> visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body. Killing him instantly. <laughs> Stanley Parable. Hmm. Where is the we're stuck here? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? <gasps> every pass you could We've made it to the other side. Long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? <laughs> Bruh. We're in the... What is it called? Corridor. It's actually important to the rest of... Look, it's the entire map of the game. Nature paintings. Stanley's computer. It's like a museum. Yeah, a museum. It's like all the different things. Um, what is it called? I believe it's called, they, they'll call it like, uh, for game testing, they'll call them like bug museums for different bugs examples that are like notable. But like, this is like a museum of the different things. <laughs> Original music, credits, model designs. Nice, nice. Maintenance room. It's very cool in here. War zone. Early in develop, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up in a battlefield fight aliens. The action game would become a sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was too, was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which is not our intention. Bruh. We should always make fun of people who like shooters. Same engine as all the clock heroes before. I don't remember, how do I go back and check? Fewer and more narrators, fewer and narrators, less Stanley. These are screenshots of the Stanley Parallel I shame. What? This is to lose. What? Aw. Got greenlit in 2012. Has like a bunch of little historical facts. It's so cute. The apartment timer. Look at the little rooms. Countdown desks. Monitor room elevator. Just like that of a Team Fortress 2. <laughs> Boss's office. I've seen Team Fortress 2 memes, but I've never played it. 
narrator outtakes. Alrighty. There you go, was it this way? I saw an exit. So if we freedom ending. Nice, nice. Techno was the first Destiny Forces 2. Yes, I saw that on, um, I think it was like the history. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Like he did a history of his channel or something. And he talks about that. I was like, thanks. Stanley Parable on or off? Do I turn the game off? It's the only option, huh? Hmm. Here we go. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't, don't. Oop. I choose for you. Don't let time choose... Oh my. When I hit escape, it closed the whole game for a second. <laughs> Ugh. We're black screened. Bum, bum, bum. Now it pauses. Do you think it'll come back? Yeah, well, I did see it on Tech News, like, history... I think he did like a history of channel or something or like how he got to where he was or something video. Or maybe I watched someone else's video about techno. But I was all like, oh, very interesting. I think I have to click the game, the game again. Oh. We're back where we began. Huh? What? In this game? There it is. The guess I am the buried. The narrator isn't here. He's gone. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, we go on the left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he'd come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. We'll make things go quick. Here's the door, just go. Thank you. <laughs> I think I've broken him, the narrator. He seems agitated. Stanley I... walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The 
Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I can't. It does it seem like he's sar like the narrator start being sarcastic now? Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Hmm. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Oh, and as right. the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided. Ah, ye. Now we get to escape. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I don't know. Is it? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. I did it. Shackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. <laughs> and yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. I gotta get the spaghetti. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Stanley was happy. Happy Stanley, yay! And then we restart. And it's like, bruh. I was like, what do we do? The trick is the game All never co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah. If you listen to the narrator then you get to be happy, but then the game restarts as soon as it finishes. Cause there's endless possibilities. There's like one where you can just like live in the broom closet. Like, I think if you sit in the room closet Stanley long came enough, to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Like, something will happen. I don't know. Yet there was not a single person here either. 
Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take <laughs> your time. I will take my time and it will be scrutinizing the color of this wrench. The wrench is gold on the top, which is weird. It's like, and then it's blue on the bottom. I think it's supposed to be fire scale, which happens when you heat up certain metals. But I'm like, bruh, that's not how wrenches should look like at all. And then you got these pliers on there and they look like they're tarnishing like they're silver. That looks like 3D filament. 3D printer filament, but like, we love the wrench. Yes. <laughs> I mean, but this game came out in 2012, so I don't know why there's filament in this closet, to be honest. And then that, that looks like, what are those? Wire clippers? A screwdriver? I think that's supposed to be duct tape, but it looks like toilet paper rolls. This broom is interesting. Stare. I like how the boxes say 22 on them. Very realistic. Right there is an example of clipping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I open, let's give him false hope. I'm leaving the broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. It was a trick. It was a trick. I can't go back to the broom closet. No. No. Now I'm going to live underneath the stairs like a hermit. The ridge. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <gasps> doors close automatically behind him wherever he went. They do. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just oh, said something the there. for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, We're dreaming, guys. We're <laughs> To have finally found an answer, an explanation. Yes. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. I'm flying. And he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stan's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Stanley has become self-aware. Describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? 
believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. <coughs> now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Shock. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. Mm -hmm. so Proof. he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. My body's making me tired. Skin, <laughs> the press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of the world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Mm. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. We're still here. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. I don't know who you are, Stanley, but I matter. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. <sighs> Mariella? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Her she name rose, is Stanley. Dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Stanley's dead! No. We're back in the office. Alrighty. Well... I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up stream now. It's getting a little late where I'm at, but thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this stream, consider following if you aren't already. Um, have a good night, good rest of your day, and thank you so much for stopping by. See you guys later. Bye!